All right, now I'm giving you a big number, and this is not in your textbooks. This is not something that you're probably going to get tested on, but it's really cool. So it's new, so pay attention. Okay. Now, 264. In a second, um, we're going to do something with this that you know how to do, but first I'm going to ask you a question and see what you can do with it, okay? Don't make any comment yet, just think about it in here. Can you work out, if I want to multiply by this by some number and get a square number at the end, multiply it by something and I get some square, okay? I don't know what the square will be, but I, I assume it will be quite large. Okay. My question is, what is the very smallest number I can pick that will do that? I mean, obviously, I could multiply by 264, and that would give me a square, wouldn't it? And it would be enormous, okay? But surely, I can multiply by a smaller number than 264 and get a square. Now, my question is, how do I do that? Hmm. Is that, uh, just to ask, is that a two or a question mark? That's a question mark. Okay. All right, now... Here's the way we're going to approach it, okay? We're going to take the skill you already know, and then I'm going to try and show you how you can use it to get this, okay? And the skill you've already been showing me just now is prime factorization. Can we do it? Yeah. What do you want to divide by? Two. Now, you could do two, but come on. <laughs> come on, let's be a bit quicker. Surely, we four. can do four. Surely, yeah. right? We might even be able to do a bigger one than that, but six. let's do four. Six. Six. Now, shh, think about it, think about it. I'm going to picture it as, I know you can use your calculator, but we're trying to work this thing, okay? Right? So, I see 200, and then I see 64. You guys can do 200 divided by 4, surely. It's 50, isn't it? Okay? So I've done the 200, now I want to do the 64. How many 4s in 64? There are 16. There's 16. Okay? These are numbers which you should be able to rattle off, particularly the quicker ones of you. So I had 50 and I have 16, so that makes it 66. Okay? Can you see that's much better than doing dividing by 2? That's much slower. What's the factorization here? 2 and 2. What do we have here? 11 and 6. Now what? 2 and 3. Okay. So let's complete our factor tree. I'll bring the 11 down. I'll bring these two down. Okay. So I've got 2 times 2 times 11, times 2, times 3. What was my number? 264. So how can I write this in index form so it's a bit neater for us? This will be, yeah? 2 cubed times 3 times 11. Excellent. Okay, Ooh, what happened there? Anyway, <laughs> Okay, alright. Now watch, here's where the magic is. Now what do I want? I want a square number of some kind. Okay, a square number. I want to multiply this by some square number. Now, come back. This is one of the useful things of having this board. I wish I had this all the time. Okay. 100. This is a square number, and you already knew that. Okay. But pay attention to its prime factorization. Right? Can you see, since 100 is square, right? watch, all the prime factors also have to be square. You see that, right? When you went up to... Um, or here, you have 24, which is not square. Right? So it's prime factorization, it's, it doesn't have squares in it. Okay? But this one does. It has to, right? Because if you take each one independently, you get your 10 and your 10. And that's why it's a square number, 100. Now, come down to here. If I want to make this into a square, right? Another color. All of my prime factors will have to be squared. Does this make sense? So for instance, this 3, right, it's mucking up my number. It's not going to give me a square. So I need to multiply by 3. Then this will become 3 squared. It'll, be, it'll give me a square. Same thing here. The 11 is mucking it up. Right? So if I multiply by another one, then I'll have 11 squared. Now, I've got one last thing to deal with. This 2 cubed. What's 2 cubed as a number? What's it equal to? 2 cubed eight. is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Oh, eight. Is 8 square? Yes. Praise the square. No. No. It's not square. Yes, I knew it. And you can see because this is a 3. I, I want like a 2, right? Hmm. Now, I can't, I can't divide by numbers. I want to multiply by something to get a square, right? So instead, I'm going to multiply by the number 2. See what's going to happen? 
8 times 2, what's that? 16. 16, and 16 is a square number. So, so what do I want to multiply by? If I multiply by 2 and 3 and 11 all at once, what am I multiplying by? 2 times 3 is? 6. 6 times 11 is? So it's 66. That's what I want to multiply by. Okay. So let's try it. In theory, I'm saying that should give us a square. Does it work? 264 times 66. It's still going to be a big number. Work it out. Go ahead and work it out. Get it on your calculator. What is it? 17,000. 424. Okay, now one of the cool things about your calculator is it has a square root button on it. I don't okay, that. can you see it? Can you see it? It has an x and a 2. Uh, whoops, 4, 2, 4. What's it equal to? Is it a square number? What do you get? What do you get? The square root of 17,424 is. 132. It worked.